Now the Prophet ﷺ, he left this world and SubhanAllah, everyone will leave this world. And the Prophet ﷺ said, even Jibreel will die. Can you imagine that? Even Jibreel ﷺ will die. The Prophet ﷺ said that after the horn is blown and the only ones that stand, إِلَّا مَنْ شَاءَ رَبُّكَ The ones who your Lord willed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have in front of him Jibreel, Israfil, Mikal, and the angel of death, Al Muqassimati Amra. Those who apportion the command of Allah. And Allah asks the angel of death, Who remains? And the angel of death says, Wajhuka al Baqi al Kareem. Oh Allah, your noble face, you're here. Abduka, me, Abduka Jibreel, your servant Jibreel. Your servant Mikal and your servant Israfil. Allah says, take the soul of Mikal. And Mikal's soul is taken from him. Then he says, who remains? He said, Ya Allah, you, me, Jibreel, and Israfil. And he says, take the soul of Israfil. And Israfil's soul is taken from him. And he says, who remains? And he says, Wajhuka al Baqil Kareem, your noble face, O Allah. Abduka hadha, this servant of yours. وَعَبْدُكَ Jibreel, We're the last two standing. Allah says, take the soul of Jibreel. The Prophet ﷺ said, Jibreel would fall on his face as his wings spread out, glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He would die in tasbih, subhanAllah. His face hits the ground as he makes tasbih to Allah. Then he says, who remains? And the angel of death says, Ya Allah, it's just you and me. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the angel of death to die. And the angel of death dies. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kullu man Every single person perishes. And only the noble face of your Lord remains. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would ask himself, Liman al-mulk To whom belongs the dominion today? Allah says to himself, Lillahi al-wahid al-qahar. To Allah, the one, the subduer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's only him. Now on the day of judgment, the Prophet ﷺ says that تَمُدُّ الْأَرْضُ لِعَظْمَةِ الرَّحْمَانِ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ As we all come back, the Prophet ﷺ says the earth is flattened in, 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 in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he says each and every single person will not be able to move from the spot that they are standing in the place of assembly. And he says sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ثُمَّ أُدْعَى أَوَلُ النَّاسِ And I would be called the first of people. I would be the first person to be called to Allah. And he said, so I would enter upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa akhirru sajida and I would fall in prostration. He says, Thumma arfa'u ra'si and I would raise my head fa'idha Jibreel an yameen al-Rahman and suddenly I'll see Jibreel on the right side of the most merciful. And, and you know what he says in this hadith subhanAllah? He says, wallahi ma ra'ahu qablaha. I swear by Allah, he never saw him before that day. Jibreel has never seen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when the Prophet sallallahu sees him, he points to him and he says, Ya Rabb, inna hadha akhbarani annaka arsaltahu ilayhi. He says, Oh my Lord, this one told me that you sent him to me. فَيَقُولُ Allah صَدَقْتِ Allah says, you've told the truth. The same way Jibreel said to the Prophet ﷺ, صَدَقْتِ You've told the truth. Why does the Prophet ﷺ choose to do that on the Day of Judgment? Why does he feel that inclination? Because on the Day of Judgment, every messenger is being asked whether he delivered the message or not. The Prophet ﷺ vouches for Jibreel before he's even asked, Oh Allah, he said you sent him to me. He did his job. And Allah says, Sadaq.